this will be an unboxing of the Google Pixel 6a. Now this one's a little bit different because I actually bought this with my own uh, cash here on Amazon.com. So I'll go ahead and put links in the description down below for that. Um, you can buy this obviously from the Google store. You can buy this at Best Buy also. I guess uh, Team Pixel lost my address because I did move. So what's up Team Pixel, you know, hook me up again. I'm here, I'm still available. So yeah, anyway, and also I got the speaking case that I'm gonna check out real quick also. So let's just, yeah, let's have a look. This is the box, Pixel 6a, got the black version. Gonna go with the murdered out look for this along with the black case, which we'll check out in a second. Back of the box is some information, etc. So yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, undo these tabs here. No unboxing knife necessary for uh, this. And here we go. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Here is the phone in all of its glory. I do like the two-tone look here though, with the black and the, like the gray up top. Actually, it's not even really black, it's more of like a gray. Yeah, yeah. Got the band there for the camera and the flash, etc., Giving me the Robocop vibes right now. And in the front, we had this cover. Put that to the side for now and let's take a look at what you get in the packaging. You get the USB cable, USB Type-C. You have your adapter here for, you know, charging, or excuse me, not charging, the, um, the data transfer, etc. And then here you have uh, the type of phone, Pixel 6a, obviously, Google Tensor chip to let you know what's going on internally. And on the bottom here, you your SIM ejection tool. Now, what's in here? Oh yeah, your documentation, etc. I like this blue color they use. All the fun stuff you'd expect in a phone box. Put that to the side for now. And this is the phone. So you can see fingerprint scanner is under the display for this year, USB type C. This is your SIM tray. And here you have your uh, volume down, volume up and power. Satisfying. Put that to the side for now and this is the phone. Let's have a closer look. There's your front-facing camera. Yeah. I'm kind of happy I went with the black. Everyone was getting the sage green. The white looks good too. But I don't know. Kind of like this darker phone right here. With the black uh, trim here, the black frame. Looks very sleek. It's like a sleeper. You know what I mean? And I like how Google made this essentially look like the, um, or just like the, uh, the Pixel 6. If you weren't really paying attention, you're not gonna know, or not gonna tell the difference. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's see. Phone just made a noise, so that's good. Yeah, so this is my first video that I've posted in a while. So. But don't you worry, I am here and I am still alive. Here we go, welcome to your Pixel. All right, English, United States is where I'm at, so I'm gonna leave it there. And let's see, let's just go ahead and get started. Connect the mobile network, we don't have that right now, so we'll skip that. And then connect to the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go ahead and let it find my uh, Wi-Fi here. I'm gonna enter my password. Getting your phone ready. Copy apps and data, we're not gonna do that right now. Don't copy, I just wanna get into the phone. I do like these graphics here, it's pretty cool. Checking info, let's see, sign into Google. We're gonna skip that for now. I just wanna get into the phone. I'm gonna skip this for now. I'll do that later. I'm gonna just say no to all that for now. Change that later. Additional legal terms, I guess I have to accept, so I'll accept. Instead of pin, we're gonna skip the pin for now. Skip the pin, and then what's all this? No, skip all the install for now. We'll install that later. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Swipe to navigate your phone. Let's go ahead and try it now. Okay, so swipe, swipe, swipe to go home. I'm gonna do that. Try again, okay. Edge of the screen. Am I doing this right? 
Oh, from the bottom. Try again. Oh no, I'm gonna get flamed for this. I keep missing. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know how to use Android. Oh my goodness. Nice. Okay, for like the 20th time, I got it. So I have to go back. There you go. Nice. Okay. Got that. Okay, cool. And then I think that's it. Swipe to switch apps. Nice, done. I don't know what happened on that first one. I guess I'm getting old. Okay, all set. You're ready to start using your phone. And then swipe up to go home. And we are in. So here's the Google Pixel 6a. Up front, this is a 6.1 inch display. Unfortunately, only 60 Hertz. Now for $449, you kind of expected that. Would have been nice to have at least like a 90 Hertz display. So that would have been cool. You have your whole punch camera cut out here on the top center of the display. I do want to check out the fingerprint sensor though. So let's go ahead and go to manage here. No, not that. I'm going to go back. Let's go to settings. Let's go to settings. And then let's just search for a uh, fingerprint. Tap to set up fingerprint. Fingerprint plus pattern. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll just do one of these, confirm, and then let's see. No, we'll just leave it like that. Set up fingerprint, unlock. Okay, how to set up a fingerprint? We'll start right now. Okay, here we go, and let's do it. Just slightly changing the placement of my thumb before each press. It's missing some right there. Okay, maybe that's user error. Oh yeah, it says use edges, duh. I didn't even notice that at first. Fingerprint added, very nice. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn off the display. And then, so it depends. If you don't have always on display, the phone will just be off. So you have to, I think you have to tap it. Yeah, you have to tap it and then put your finger right there. And then the screen should unlock. And there we go. Now, let's go ahead and set it up with the always on display. Just need to search for it always. There we go. Always show time and info. Just go ahead and we'll select that or enable it. We'll turn the phone off again. As you can see, here's the uh, always on. You can see the fingerprint icon right there. And here you see the battery percentage, obviously the time, and some other information right there. Go ahead and tap that area, and it should unlock. There you go. Now I'll be honest, under display fingerprint scanners and my thumb, for whatever reason, they don't really go well together. And then on my daily driver, the Note 20 Ultra, kind of the same thing. So I don't know, maybe it's just my thumb. Maybe I have dry skin or it's calloused, or I don't know what's going on with that. But go ahead and test out the camera, since that's what pixels really are known for. I'm gonna not allow that. And then turn on by default is top shot. Okay, I'm gonna press done on that. Let's take a picture of something. Let's take a picture of last year's phone, the Pixel 5a. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this. This is on 0.6. Let's see, move that out of the way. 0.6, this is the 1x. And then the 2x zoom, which I think is digital. Go ahead and put that in the comment or in the uh, video and then put that in the video. So let's go ahead and take a quick video here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go video and that's, let's record right now. This is a quick little video from the Google Pixel 6a phone. So as you can see, here's the, uh, the 5a that I'm filming. So let me know how this looks audio, video, etc. Let me know in the comments below. Peace out. There you go, so let me know how that looks. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna take some pictures, take a quick video. Let's go do that right now.
so this is sample video from the Pixel 6a. This is right now filming at 4K, 30 frames per second. Now, it's kind of like mid-afternoon here in Northern California, so you can see. Beautiful day out. It is about 100 degrees out here, so kind of hot, but it's all good. But anyway, so let me know in the comments below, like, how the camera is handling this right now. Where the scene is, like, half in, half in shadow and half in sunlight. So let me know how the camera is handling that. Looks pretty good on the viewfinder here on the Pixel 6a. And I'm going to go back here to where there's light. So let me see how it handles that. Just going to take a quick stroll here. Just handheld. See my shadow. Just completely handheld. No gimbal or, you know, small tripod or anything. So just let me know how this looks. Also how the audio looks. I'm going to go wide. Give you an idea. I'm going to walk over here. Looks pretty good on the viewfinder. The screen looks pretty good. No issues looking at the display. Here in the bright sun, I can see, you know, pretty clearly. I'm going to go back to the 1X. Here's the 2X. Have a look at that. And then, so I'm going to go up here because you can actually see the moon. Right there. Let me know how that looks. This looks pretty good. It's not bad. Go back to the one. I'm gonna go over here. See if this thing will spin. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's gonna spin. But um yeah, let me know how that looks, how the colors look. Real quick, let's go ahead and check out this case from Spiegel. Of course, you gotta protect your new phone, right? So this one is the uh my bad, is the Spiegel um tough armor for the Pixel 6a. Back of the box. And then here it is. Got a little pamphlet here. So take a look at that if you want. Put that to the side. And here's the case. Now I like this case. This is kind of like my go-to case from Spigen for pretty much every phone that I have. Because aesthetics, I like the all black look. I like the black kickstand. I think that looks pretty sleek. Especially with like a black phone or the, the gray version of this phone. I think that's gonna look pretty good, right? And then on the inside, they have this like padding right here, which is pretty cool. Here's your kickstand. And I'll go ahead and do that. And then so you can just do this and watch media when you're out and about. So let's go ahead and put the 6A. We'll have a quick look. Nice and easy. Black case blends in perfectly with the front of the phone. Looks very nice. And we'll flip it over again. This time with the phone in the case. And I have to say that this looks pretty nice. All black. Black kickstand. Nice and sleek. Get your cut out there for the cameras and flash. We'll get closer here. Got an ample amount of space between the camera lens. Right? So if you drop this on a flat surface, should be good. We'll go check out the front lip. And you have a nice front lip all around the front display. So again, if you drop this on a flat surface like this, should be good to go. Although, don't do that. Here's the cutouts for the bottom. USB Type-C, speaker grills, branding right there. The volume rocker and the button is uh, ridged right here so you can easily feel it. And the buttons click without any issue. Now, it is flat with the case, so you kind of have to find it. Or just look at the plus and minus. So it's not raised or anything, as you can see. So just something to keep in mind. Overall, I do like this case. Cut out there for the mic. So let me know what you thought about this phone in the comments down below. And let me know what you want me to do with this phone, with the Pixel 6a. Speed tests, camera tests, etc. Versus specifically the Pixel 5a, 5G from last year. If you already have this phone, should you upgrade to the 6a? Should you just stick with your 5a? How do these two compare? But let me know what you want me to do with this phone, the 6a, in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.